Are you fascinated by aviation and the trail of flight? Have you always wanted to start a new hobby that combines your love for aviation and your attention to detail? Look no further. In this video, we're diving into the world of model airplane collecting. Whether you are a seasoned collector or just starting out, this beginner's guide will get you excited about the possibilities. Let's start by talking about the different skills available in the world of model airplanes. I will introduce you to the popular skills of 1 to 200, 1 to 400 and 1 to 500 and help you understand what makes each one unique and special. So buckle up and let's get ready to take off on an amazing journey into the flight of model airplane collecting. Let's get started. Let's take a closer look at the 1 to 500 skill. One of the biggest benefits of this skill is its size. These models are small and compact, making them perfect for collectors who don't have a lot of space to display their collection. You can for example fit a lot of models on a small model airport. Another advantage is that 1 to 500 scale models are the typically the cheapest option available. This makes it a great starting point for beginner collectors who want to build up their collection without breaking a bank. The average price of a 1 to 500 scale model can range anywhere from 25 euros up to 45 euros for the big A380s. Now let's talk about some of the negatives. One of the biggest drawbacks of the 1 to 500 scale is that it's not very detailed. These models don't have as many intricate features as larger scales, so you won't see every little detail on the aircraft. Additionally, these models often lack antennas and other small features. This is included in the bigger skills, which I will discuss in a minute. Another disadvantage is the simple paint scheme. The manufacturer often keeps it simple because it's so small, so the models may not be as visually appealing as those in larger scales. Most of the 1 to 500 scale models are produced by Herpa Wings, which means there is a limited variety available on the market. It also means that the production errors and licensing problems are more common. For example, Airlines like EasyJet and Ryanair are not present on the 1 to 500 scale market as they have licensing issues, so the models are not available. In the 1 to 400 scale market, these models are available. Finally, some aircraft may take a while to become available on the market as there is only one manufacturer without serious competition. So there you have it. The 1 to 500 skill is a great option for beginners who are just starting to build their collection and want to keep costs low. However, if you're looking for more detail and variety, you may want to consider a larger skill. Next up, let's talk about the 1 to 400 skill. This skill is perfect for collectors who are looking for a balance between size, detail and price. One of the biggest benefits of this skill is its level of detail. These models come with antennas and other small features and the paint scheme is highly detailed, leaving nothing out. Despite this level of detail, the models are still relatively small, making them a great option for collectors who don't want to take up too much space. They are bigger than the 1 to 500 scale, but still small enough to build a large collection without sacrificing a lot of space. Another advantage of the 1 to 400 scale is the variety of manufacturers available. You have options like Phoenix, GC Wings, Gemini Jets and NG models, to name a few. Phoenix and GC Wings are relatively cheap and offer decent quality, while Gemini Jets is the biggest in the market and the best known manufacturer. However, it's worth noting that Gemini Jets models are known to have relatively many production errors, such as dismounted wings and mistakes on the mold, though this is also present in the models from GC Wings and Phoenix, like you can see on the pictures here. The average price on the models of JC Wings and Phoenix is low, while Gemini Jets offers moderate prices. On the other hand, NG models come with a higher price tag, but they offer super high quality, very detailed models. However, their offerings are limited to a few types of airlines, as they don't bring out as many aircraft monthly, and they are only on the market for a short period of time. The prices of 1 to 400 scale models have increased a lot during the last year due to inflation, increase in transporting costs because of the increase of the gas and electricity prices. This is a very big shame because first I bought around 3 to 4 models a month while now I only buy around 3 to 4 models half a year. Overall the four, 1 to 400 scale Market is a great option for collectors who want to balance in detail, size and price. The only downside I found is that the models aren't super big, 
but that's only if you're expecting a larger size. So if you're looking for a detailed, well-rounded collection, the 1 to 400 scale might be a way to go. Finally, let's talk about the 1 to 200 scale. This scale is for collectors who are looking for the ultimate in size and detail. There are two types of models in this scale, plastic and metal models. Plastic models are cheaper, but they don't have the same realism as metal models. Plastic models are also prone to yellowing when exposed to direct sunlight. They are more toy-like than actually made to collect. On the other hand, metal models are more expensive, but they look much more realistic and wear out much slower. One of the biggest benefits of the 1 to 200 scale is the size of the models. They are very large and come with excellent detail, making them a great option for collectors who want to showcase their collection in all its glory. Another advantage is the variety of options available, because it has the same manufacturers that produce 1 to 400 skill models. So you have plenty of options to choose from. This skill is also great for collectors who are interested in private jets and other large aircraft, because the 1 to 200 skill mo market offers aircraft like the Gulfstream G650. However, there are some negatives to consider when choosing the 1 to 200 skill. One of the biggest drawbacks is the high price. These models are expensive, which means building a large collection can be cost prohibitive. Additionally, because of their size, you won't be able to fit many of these models in your collection. They take up a lot of space, so you need a lot of room to display them all. Expect to pay from 65 all the way up to 150 euros for a good old 747 when you choose the 1 to 200 scale. In conclusion, the 1 to 200 scale is an ultimate option for collectors who want the best in size and detail. However, if you're on a budget or have limited space, you may want to consider a smaller scale. But if you want to go all out and make a statement with your collection, the 1 to 200 scale might be just what you're looking for. In conclusion, when it comes to collecting model airplanes, there are three main skills to consider. 1 to 200, 1 to 400 and 1 to 500. Each skill has its own benefits and negatives. So it's important to choose the one that best suits your needs and interests. The 1 to 200 skill is for collectors who want the ultimate in size and detail, but be prepared to pay a high price and have enough room to display these large models. The 1 to 400 skill offers a great balance between size and detail, and you will find a variety of manufacturers and models to choose from at relatively affordable prices. The 1 to 500 skill is the smallest of the three skills, but it's also the most affordable. It's a great option for collectors who are just starting out and want to build a collection without breaking the bank, but these models are a bit less detailed and don't come with all the extras that the 1 to 200 and 400 come with. No matter which skill you choose, collecting model airplanes can be a fun and rewarding hobby, so go ahead and start your collection today. Let me know in the comments if I have inspired you. Thank you for watching this video on the beginner's guide to collecting model airplanes. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I am more than happy to answer them for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you at the next video.